In this video, we're gonna place the Orville project file with his animation into the background project file. With the background scene project file open, go to file, import, moho object, and select the Orville project file from your computer that we have just animated from the last section. Check the layers you wanna import. In this case, I'm just going to import our character rig with the animation that we just created. Now go to your layers panel and make sure the Orville layer you just imported is on top of the other layers simply by clicking the Orville bone group layer and dragging it to the top. Next, we need to scale down the layer in order to fit it in the scene. Now that we have our character as reference, make adjustments to the prop within the scene to maintain visual size. Next, we need to move Orville in Z space so that he is properly positioned within the scene. Split your views using the side by side panel. Right click in the right panel and go to view, direction, right. Make adjustments to your character and prop if necessary. Once everything looks positioned properly, test with your camera track tool. If everything looks good, we are now ready to animate our scene. Hit Control J on your keyboard. This is going to show all that you need to see within the scene itself. This will help you get an idea of what the final result will look like. With the camera track tool, move the camera up so that you just have a view of your buildings and the cityscape. Feel free to create duplicates within the same layer of your cityscape if you want it wider. Do any adjustments necessary for the opening shot. Once everything looks good to you, go to frame one and create a keyframe for the track camera tool and zoom camera tool simply by selecting each tool and clicking in the word space to create a keyframe. These will be the only two tools we will use for the camera. Next, go to frame 71 and with the camera track tool, move the camera down so Orville is visible. Go ahead and play back the animation now to see how it feels. While on frame 71, create a keyframe for the zoom camera. Go to frame 143, zoom in, and track the camera so that Orville is center screen. Now replay back the animation. If everything looks good, go to File, Export Animation. Save it as an MP format at the H.264 preset. Ensure all your other settings are checked as I have them. Pick a folder to export them to and rename your animation if you choose. Once complete, open up the folder you saved the animation to and click it to watch. Congrats, you did that. You created this animation scene. Awesome job on making it this far. By now you should have an understanding of the Moho tools to design, rig, and animate your own animation scene. Now go out there and create your own animation. Feel free to upload and share this animation you just created on social media using the hashtag MohoScene. Again, my name is McCoy Buck. I was the instructor for this tutorial series. If you'd like to learn more in depth about Moho, check out my step-by-step -step design, rigging, and animation courses at my website, store.mccoybuck.com. We hope that you enjoyed this tutorial series and happy animating. I'll see you later.